Hey everyone, in today's video, I wanted to show you how to record footage from your camera right into your computer, your laptop, for example. The connection that has to be made between these two is what makes it possible to record, and you'll need just this little tiny device to make that work. This is made by Blackmagic, it's called Ultra Studio Mini Recorder. What it lets you do is connect physically your camera to your computer and record with a software on your computer. This was not possible without this. If you simply go HDMI from your camera into your computer, and nothing happens. So you need this little converter to make that work. So I wanna show you how to set it up, the software on your computer to make it work and everything in between. So what this does is it takes the signal. I'm gonna show you a couple of different signals that it takes. It will take SDI, which is a professional connection with more professional high-end cameras. So these cameras that you see here all have an SDI option. This is this plug right here and that will go right into this connection here, and then it will connect right into my camera's SDI feed, which is on the back of the camera here. But for most of you, you may not have an SDI connection on your camera, so what you wanna do is get one of these HDMI cables. This out of the box doesn't come with any of that, so it just comes with this box basically. So your HDMI and SDI connection you have to buy separately, and I'll put a link in the description to some of the best, more sturdy, long-lasting and cheap SDI and HDMI cables that I have here. This one, you connect here, and then you connect into the back of the camera, so for DSLRs and things like that, you will have a connection like this, or a mini HDMI in some case, to a full HDMI, which is this one right here. So that's your input from camera to here. Then the output from here to the computer is Thunderbolt. Again, it doesn't come with that connection, but here's a Thunderbolt cable. I have it for one of my hard drives, so I already had it. But you plug it in simply from this Thunderbolt connection to your laptop. This one has a Thunderbolt connection. If you have a newer laptop, like the newest Mac only have USB-C, Thunderbolt 3 or Thunderbolt 4, those will take a different cable where you need to convert this Thunderbolt 1 into a USB-C. You could get those cables for about $50, that converter. It's just a little cable that goes at the end of this if you don't have this kind of Thunderbolt connection on your laptop. So that's basically all you have to do. So I'm gonna actually go ahead and set this up. I'll do it with the SDI cable. So I'll go SDI in and it gets powered by the Thunderbolt here. So there is a little light right here. When this lights up, you know everything is working and you have power. If this doesn't light up, you know you're not using the correct Thunderbolt connection between your computer and this device. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in and then I'll show you what to do on your laptop to get the signal from your camera to your lap. So the output from your camera, again, SDI or HDMI, I'm gonna go SDI in this case. I'll just go ahead and plug in the SDI. Then that will get you right into this mini recorder. Again, the SDI or HDMI right into it. Then we're gonna come out here and we're gonna use our Thunderbolt right here. I'm gonna go Thunderbolt in and this Thunderbolt is gonna carry me to my laptop. So let me plug this in. So now the little light that indicates that everything is working and this is powered on is on. So now I make sure my camera is turned on. The signal is flowing here. I'll have to change the setting in the camera to make sure it's the SDI output and not the HDMI. In most cameras, you have to make that distinction in the menu. So I'll have to do that. Now I'm gonna show you what to do on the software. So in the box, where this mini recorder came out of, it does come with this little SD card that has a software for recording this. You could use free softwares like OBS. It's a free software that lets you stream and record onto your camera. I use it all the time, but this does come with its own software. I'm gonna show you that. So you simply have to take this little SD card and plug it into your computer and download the software. It comes with Mac or a PC version right on this card. So you'll choose one depending on your computer. So I plugged the SD card here and it's gonna show you the Mac and the Windows version. So I'm gonna go ahead and open the Mac version here and it has your desktop video manual, your H.264 recorder pro manual here, but I just wanna install the desktop video here, this package, and I'll just go through the simple install process here, I agree, install, and you'll have to go ahead and restart the computer for this process to finish up, so I'm gonna go ahead and press that. 
Once the application installs, go ahead to your application folder here and you'll have a Blackmagic desktop video, that's what installed, but you should also get Blackmagic Media Express. If it doesn't download from the cart for some reason, you could look this up and you could download it. But the Media Express is what you wanna open up. Here, you could also open up desktop video setup. That will bring you this box where you could actually do some settings here, like changing the input or the conversion. You actually, by default, shouldn't be able to or need to do anything here. So I'm gonna cancel out of that, I'm gonna exit, and I'm gonna open Blackmagic Media Express app here. And by default, the Express app shows up right here under playback. And in order to see your camera feed, you'll just have to go to log and capture. If you press this, you'll see your camera feed here. If I move the camera, you see this is a live feed coming from here. You could live stream it, record it. In order to record it, for example, right here on the bottom, you could name, description, real scene, take, angle. You could type any of this information in. You could see the input of the audio going in right here uh, next to it under video and audio track. But if you press capture right here, it's gonna start capturing to disk where you set that up. And anytime if you press capture again, it will stop capturing. So that's how you would record right here. And if you wanted to see where that went right here, if you double play, press capture right here, it's gonna start. It's gonna do a quick playback of what you recorded. So you could continue to go back here to log and capture. That was on playback. And if you go back to Login Capture, you could capture a new take right here on this app. Let me show you another way real quick on the OBS Studio here. I'm actually using OBS Studio, which is a free software, to record my screen. But if I wasn't doing that, and if I wasn't recording my screen this way, what you could do is, if you press the plus sign here, Blackmagic Device will be one of your input options because I have it connected. So if I choose that, and name a Blackmagic device right here, it will show up and under device, I could just press Ultra Studio, press OK, and you could see it right here. Now, I could use this to record this screen as well. Let me just go ahead and turn that off so the full screen could capture here. But that's pretty much all there is to know about this device. You could use OBS Studio also to do a live stream. If you wanted to check out the streaming, check out the full video on that, but this is just to get the camera signal here all the way to your computer, record it on your desktop thing, you could edit it. I use Adobe Premiere to do all my editing and I usually don't do live streams, but OBS is a great software for that. I hope you found this video useful. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel and check out the links in the description for everything we talked about, including the cables. And I hope to catch you on the next video. Thanks so much for watching.